Okay, Shalom Israel. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that by honor city apostles and elders with great millstone. And Shalom to the like men pushing this word and truth and the sincerity. Um, this is going to be just off the spirit of, uh, you know, just being at your low point. What do you do? Because Satan always comes to us, you know, at our low points, man, at, at our weakest points. Like, came to Yahweh Shai after fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. Now we know even for us, as uh, mortal men, which Yahweh Shai came in the flesh, that's not easy. That's not an easy thing to do at all, man. You know, just fasting for like a day, or maybe, you know, some brothers may fast for two or three days, man. Afterwards, you feel hungry, you feel tired, you feel agitated. The first thing you want to do is get a, a nice, you know what I'm saying, a uh, cup of water, man. That'd be the best tasting water you ever had. You know, so at that point, man. You know, when at your basically at your low points, especially you know being that we in this flesh, you know, because the scriptures say that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. So Satan attacks the flesh, man. So you know you just gotta think, all right, what's gonna happen when I'm presented with this chip? Because the scriptures say that he calls us all both small and great, man. Meaning the so-called white man, this devil, all right, he will present avenues. That is so, that is so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That is so uh, strenuous on you that you feel like you're forced into a corner. And, you know, just like now, you know, things seem like it's going okay. You know what I'm saying? But you catching hell. You know what I'm saying? What are you going to do? Are you going to maintain your faith as Yahweh Shai did to Satan? All right, or you're going to bow down. All right. But if you do choose, which we should, all right, as being the hopeful elect, we should choose the spirit, you know. And I was just, um, you know, just I had typed in um, strength. I had typed in strength, you know, because what What's the best way to. uh. You know what I'm saying? What's the what's the best way to to uh combat Satan in his flesh? It's look at the man who did so, which is Yahweh Shai. Alright, actually I could grab that real quick. The Hebrews 4. You know, cuz like in everything you have a teacher, and your teacher is more experienced because he's been through what you're going through uh you know um at the current time. Which your house has been through what we we're going through now. All right, this is Hebrews four. I'm trying to find it. Four and fourteen. Saying then that we have a great high priest that has passed into heavens, Yahweh Shai, the Son. Hold on, let me see. Maybe I have to start up. Oh, right, yeah, I'm going to start at 14. Saying that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens. Yahweh Shah, the son of God. Let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. But was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain and find grace to help in time of need. And we need, man, we need help bad, man. We need help bad. So, what's the best way, or who, what's, who is the best person to talk to, you know what I'm saying, on our infirmities in, in the flesh? All right, the, the man that, um... You know, the man that went through it and passed the test, you know, Yahweh Shai. And the scriptures say, you know, I come in the volume of the book, lo, it is written of me, which is just talking about Yahweh Shai. So whenever you're at your lowest points, you want to, you know, just, all right, look up uh, precepts on strength. All right. And just go down the list, man. Philippians 4 and 13, I can do all things through him that strengthens me. So, 
you know, you might be at your lowest point. You know what I'm saying? Having to deal with two-thirds. Feeling like you're just all alone, man. Well, look, man. You just read that. I can do all things through your house. Shout out strengthens me. All right? It says, Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or, or be in dread of them. For it is the Lord, your power, who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. And the Most High, how about Shem Yahweh will not leave us or forsake us. So what? Now you go remember to pray. All right, because that's the defense uh, mechanism as well, man. And these scriptures give you hope, man. What's the scriptures say? Hope is the anchor to the soul. All right. I think that's in Hebrews 6. Let's see. What is it 6 and 19? Hebrews 6 and 19. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. Whither the forerunner is for us enter, even Yahawashai made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. You know? So, hey, going to further prove the point, man. All right? Yahawashai did it. So, we got to follow after his footsteps, man. You know this? Man, this is a hard walk, man. So, we just got to, we got to always constantly pray. Ask Yahawashim Yahawashai to guide his steps, man. To remember him in time of trouble. This is Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your power. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. One more. This is Isaiah 40 and 31. We always use this for spiritual powers. All right. And, you know, we got to. <clears throat> well, I'm going to just read Isaiah 40 and 31. But they who wait for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings. Like eagles, all right. Like I said, going into spiritual power, how we gonna fly waiting on you? How about shim you out shot, man? It says they shall run and not be weary; they shall walk and not faint. So this goes to show you, man, that this hell is only temporal, man. Soon enough, because how about shim you out shot? Said it himself, man. He's gonna lift us up, man. All right. He's gonna lift us up, man. The scriptures say the Most High bringeth flow, and he uh he lifteth up, man. The scriptures say that he lift up the big out of the dunk hill. I could try to grab it real quick. Um, is that first uh let's see first Samuel's two and eight, I believe. First Samuel's two and eight. He raises up the poor Slaki. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunk hill. To set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he that set the world upon them. So, yeah, uh, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai Baraka Thumb, Lord William, you know, Akim stay up. Remember Yahweh Shai in times of trouble and times of adversity, man. Because you're going to go through it and you're going to ultimately go through it in times of Jacob's trouble, man, when that chip is presented unto you. So, what are you going to do? All right. So, you know, with that, I hope brothers uh, stay strong. Keep praying for, you know what I'm saying? Pray for me, man. Let's pray for each other, man. Shalom, Israel.